everyone welcome back to my channel my name is lisa if you're new around here i hope you're all doing really well it is literally almost back to school time and as usual i'm not fully prepared especially with three children going back to school so orlando's obviously got nursery and then the other two obviously going up a year so i have got a few little bits that i need to buy online last minute i'm actually going to use a site that is pretty new to me and it's called top cashback this is the uk's top leading cashback site i think they've got like over 5,000 retailers on there where you can kind of shop through so if for example if I'm going to go and shop and buy uh, my Tesco shopping or something like that I can go through top cash back and then earn a percentage back as well so it's a great way to save money whilst you're making your usual kind of back to school purchases and also buying your usual everyday things as well so yeah you can use it for your utility bills you can use it for general shopping whether you want to buy interior stuff fashion stuff beauty Beauty. but again like I said you can do it for bills as well which is really fantastic and you can save money at the same time so I'm going to show you how I do that today what I really love about top cashback is you get emails as well so you get lots of great updates on their best and latest offers I got an email the other day and actually I was going to already shop with TU because I need to get the boys some new back to school bit so the offer actually is to get 10 pounds cash back which I thought was amazing so all you need to do is spend 10 pounds which is so easy when you're buying back to school bits and you get £10 cash back so when you go onto the top cashback site you can go through all of the brands and choose what it is that you're kind of looking for whether it's insurances whether you're trying to book a holiday you want to buy some home DIY bits or some fashion items then you click on the store and then it will just take you straight to the retailer and you just shop that way so you don't have to do anything else so I'm going to make my purchases now but this was from the email that I actually got from the exclusive offer to get £10 cash back so I just clicked on it via my email and then it took me to the top cashback website. I clicked the link and now it's just taking me to TU's website to do my shopping. So basically all you do is you do your shopping, your usual shop and then check out as usual there's nothing else you need to do and then any earnings that you've made from your spending will then eventually end up in your account on top cashback so then you can just do whatever you want with it whether you want to save it in there you can do that you can withdraw it at any time or you can actually change it into a gift card as well which is really cool and also if you pay out your cashback via the reward wallet you can earn a bonus amount on top as well top cashback's also got loads of other tools to help you save including like a browser extension a comparison tool I'm so happy that I found Top Cashback because to be honest, it is actually so, so easy to do. And what has put me off things like this before is that I just thought it would be a bit of a hassle and it would take so long to set up, but all you do is sign up. So for example, if you're wanting to save maybe for Christmas next year or a birthday or a holiday, then Top Cashback is a great way to earn money without having to do anything, you're just spending your usual spend. So whether you're doing your online shop, your insurances, or you're booking a holiday, you can earn money that way without having to do anything. It's just a couple of extra clicks by using their site and going through the retailer that way. So yeah, if you would like to try Top Cash Back, I will leave a link down below for you. But if you are a new member, then you can have 15 pounds bonus to spend. So you can spend it wherever you like, excluding takeaway websites. But 15 pounds is a lot of money. So if you've got something that you wanna buy, then definitely sign up now using my link down below. So if you use my link, then you will get the 15 pounds. If you have already got Top Cash Back, let me know what your favorite features are. There are so many great features. But yeah, what we're gonna do now we're gonna have just a cozy day I've got loads of little bits to do to get the boys ready for back to school I need to cut the hair as well I've just got loads of things to do I also want to change my bed I'm gonna give you a little update on our bedroom today just to kind of show you how everything is looking at the moment I'm really pleased with how it's looking so far but anyway let's get on with the rest of the day and yeah let me know how you're feeling about the little ones going back to school I'm actually quite excited to get back into a routine I feel like we need a bit of routine back now it's been an amazing summer but I do feel like I'm looking forward to routine now it's september i can start thinking about halloween and pumpkins i know it's early but i just feel like autumn is just around the corner and i'm so so excited for it <laughs> that is so good i never felt tomorrow closing in this fast Guess time's in a rush Leaves are falling down But at least they grow back While I'm on a one-way track 
right it's a new day guys i need to change the bed today so i'm going to change my bed i've got some new bedding actually from dusk which is so beautiful let me show you what it looks like so we've gone for this gorgeous stripe so it's kind of white and gray it looks like but the white is a little bit more ivory if you can kind of see against that brilliant white it's slightly more ivory and i thought that would just be a nice way to add a little bit more not texture but i guess a different pattern into the room so i'm gonna pop that onto the bed this morning and show you how i dress the bed i think i'm gonna put you in there you're in the wardrobe now but i think that's a good spot so you can see what we're doing also why did no one warn me about how difficult it is to change a super king size bed because this is a proper workout although I have got a new technique that my mum showed me on how to make the bed and it's so much easier than what I used to do so before so before I would like turn the duvet cover inside out grab each corner and then obviously grab the actual duvet and then kind of put it through that way very hard to explain I used to have to hold my arms up and it was just all like you know a lot but fine with a double duvet but when you've got a super king size duvet it's so much more difficult to do and it's so heavy so now i've got a different technique i'll show you how i do that actually because it's so much easier you probably already do it to be fair but i have only recently discovered this and it's so much easier when you're making a bed on your own I thought I would show you this because this I can't for the life of me remember what these are called but they basically go on your mattress they're like an extra kind of thickness and a bit of padding but this one is so annoying because it always just like slips over to this side and you've obviously got these to keep it onto the mattress but they just slip off all the time and with Mark being on this side it constantly like moves over so my side is like nothing over there yeah it's nice it does feel lovely when you're sleeping on it because it's got that extra padding but it's so annoying because it constantly slips off so that is a bit annoying but if you've got i don't even know what these are called now i can't even think what on earth is this called i have no idea but anyway it's lovely and soft but as you can see it's completely slipped over it's so annoying they never stay on Right, so with the duvet, I put the duvet back onto the bed, then I grab the duvet cover. There's no need to put this inside out. You literally pop this onto the bed as well, with the open end obviously being at the bottom of the bed. I love this cover so much. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the top corner of the duvet cover, like so. So this is obviously the top corner, I don't know if you can hear me. And then I'm going to grab the top corner of the duvet and pop it in like this. And then just slightly pull it down a little bit so we've got a little bit in there. And then I just come over to the other side and do the same and then just drape it all down. It's so much easier doing it this way. Again, grab the top corner and feed it in to the top corner of the duvet cover and then just pull it down so make sure the centre bit is in there as well doing it this way has saved my arms so much it's so much easier now to make the bed and then basically just do the same grab the bottom corner pop it in excess just kind of pull it down and ruffle it down it's so much easier like this 
And then I'm just going to give it a good shake to make sure it's all in there nicely. And then I'll just do the buttons up and that is it. How quick was that? That was so, so quick. I literally love it. It's so nice. Now I know. Also got these cushions to add from dusk as well i love the texture on these they've got that kind of it's like a mix of like a boucle linen i feel and i love the olive green stripes on there i think that looks gorgeous and then for another pop of green i've got this one here which is from laradu and i really love this orange stripe here as well very autumnal which is really beautiful and perfect for the season ahead and then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drape some blankets along the bottom of the bed. With this being a super king size bed, I have not yet found the largest blanket to go on the bottom of the bed that drapes over each side. I find it so difficult to find like extra, extra, extra large blankets. But I've got one from Dusk and I've got another from Ikea and I kind of drape them together and I think it looks really pretty. So I'm going to show you how that looks. So this is the chunky knit one, which is from Dusk. I really love this gorgeous sandy tone. And I think with it being like a lovely knit, it looks lovely, especially for autumn. So I'm going to just drape this over the end of the bed. Just love the look of layered and draped fabrics over bed. I think it looks so so pretty that is what I tend to do with this one and this one does to be fair go across the whole of the bed and then I'm going to add this green one which I got from Ikea I just love to add this green a extra pop of depth and colour to the bed so I just drape this over no real rhyme or reason to it to be honest um, but this is how I do it I find that if I drape the two opposite corners it makes it a little bit longer so that's what I tend to do I already cannot wait to jump into this bed tonight. Okay, so the bed is all made. I've just hoovered the floor. Ignore the floor because there's so many bits on it, but it's getting replaced soon, so the carpet's going to be changed soon. But I wanted to give you a little room tour, I suppose, and show you what the room looks like at the moment. I've got a few different ideas. Of course, we still want to change the bedside tables. And to be honest, I feel like that is pretty much it. We might add a rug in here, but our bed is so massive. I just don't know if I could deal with the effort of putting a rug underneath it for the sake of only seeing like a tiniest bit of it. So maybe we could put a rug at, like at the end of it or maybe put a runner in here in front of the wardrobes. But let me show you what it currently looks like. 
Okay, so this is now what the bed looks like. I think it looks really gorgeous. I absolutely love this bedding. I love the stripes with the texture and the pop of green as well. This forest green, I think is so, so beautiful. And obviously the pillows and cushions look great. This is a bedside table situation. I've just popped this picture on there actually. This is a painting that I got from a charity shop a little while back and I really love it there. Just to add that kind of homely touch to it. And I love how it's kind of quite autumnal, quite wintry picture picture so that is that corner of course with my William Woods mirror I love this mirror so much and it's got brass detailing so that is what the bed looks like and don't you just love how this bench looks at the end of the bed I've popped my little Gilly Hicks slippers under there just to add that homely touch to kind of give it more of a lived-in feel and I think that looks really really beautiful and then of course we've got my dressing table over there ignore the fan that'll be going soon and yeah I think it looks really gorgeous these bedside lamps I'm not sure if I've shown you them in a tour before but those were from TK Maxx and then this is another painting that I actually got when we went to a car boot sale I think it costs like three pounds or something like that but I think the colors go really well in this room so what I might do is I may take it off of the actual canvas and pop it into a, like a gold frame which I think might look quite nice so that is another little detail and I just popped that up there the other day but um, I think that looks really nice as well. Here's a view from this corner of our bedroom. I think it looks really, really lovely at the moment. It's such a tranquil space. Let me know what you think. What do you think of my bedding? I think it looks beautiful. I love, I just love it. I think it looks really, really lovely in here. So we're finally getting there now. I think that adding the extra textures and all of the little details really does make it come together. So I'm really pleased about that. But like I said, we could possibly add a rug or maybe a runner along here at some point, or maybe even one on this side, because this is a bigger area here. So let me know what you think. Maybe I should paint those bedside tables just to see if I like the black, because I'm thinking of getting black bedside tables so it doesn't seem so white I want to add some extra depths in here so maybe paint those black keep the tops as they are change the handles possibly it's just this little area down here that I don't really like I would prefer it if it was straight so Mark might be able to cut that actually for me but yeah let me know what you think I should do with those if you think I should upcycle them or buy new we shall see you never really get to see this side but this is of course the wardrobe situation which is so so useful and then our TV is in here so that is that feel a little bit more in order now the bed is all done I need to sort the kids uniform out and get it all ready for going back to school I can't believe they're going back to school that six weeks has just flown by so so quickly they're currently playing in the garden for their last bit of freedom uniform out all ready for tomorrow the boys never like wearing these gray socks so i doubt they'll wear them but i'm getting them out anyway and they might wear them they usually just like wearing their white socks but anyway that's their uniform sorted i need to go find Vinny's shorts now so what i'll do later on is i'll grab their bags and i'll sort out their lunches for tomorrow and then we're pretty much set i feel like i've got this down now after having three kids um, I don't find it too stressful thankfully. So I'm going to leave the vlog there guys. Thank you so so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Don't forget to check out Top Cashback and make the most of the £15 new membership bonus. I will leave a link in the description box for you so you can sign up and if you're already a member let me know what your favourite thing is about Top Cashback. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Bye.